Welcome back to another edition of the Smoke Box for Be Real TV. I'm here with my special guest, Fredo Santana. Squad, squad. Major chiefer in the game, you know, um, making lots of moves, doing things. And, uh, you know, it's good to have you in the box. It's definitely, man. You know good to saying? be here all day, man. I know you normally be fucking with the backwoods, but we rode you a white girl on the funky yeah, field tip, definitely, you know. Yeah, definitely, man. Because that's how we do. So you can start, you know, we're smoking on some tangerine, some Dr. Green Thumb tangerine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, third place um, at the High Times Cannabis Cup in San Bernadubi. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, rep we repped well, so that's what we're smoking on, some of the doctor's finest. I thought I'd bring that to the table on this smoke box right Most here. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? When I ain't smoking woods, though, I'm rolling joints, though, you know? No switches, man. You know? Hurt my throat. Word up, man. So tell us tell us what's good with you. I know you started off initially, you know, rolling with Chief Keef. You're, you know, related blood relatives, yeah, right? Relatives. But uh, you went and started your own brand going off and, and uh, you know, Rep yeah, um, brand. me and Chief Key first started um, the group GBE. Me him and Lil Reese. Um, um, I kind of went with, like with like the major label thing. He went. He went with the major label. He went with Interscope, and I was like, you know, I wasn't going. You like, wanted to stay. Yeah, I wanted to stay independent. And so, um, like, we just went two different routes, you know. So I just was like, you know. I mean, I'm kind of, you know, smart. I'm kind of a businessman, you know. Like, before I was rapping, like, I was, like, Chief Keith, like, manager, you know. So, like. So, you had you yeah. had been in the game already. Yeah. So, I was, like, you know, I'm, I'm just a finna start another record label. So, I just started Subscribe Records, you know. Um, signed it myself, you feel me. Put out um, so many projects, and, you know, just grind, you know. So, you, you started off just, like, you know, like, rapping and shit, but. You know, you got into other fields, you you know, produce a little bit, and then obviously now you're running your own independent label and shit. Most definitely. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I be modeling and shit, you know. You got to get into everything yeah, these days, yeah, man. Most you, definitely. The game is wide open. Yeah, then I be designing clothes and shit, you know. And then, you know, uh, my homie earlier, who I was telling you about with the shoes, me and him, we got something going on with some shoes we finna make. Some customized shoes. Yeah. yeah I saw them earlier. Yeah. They're, they're crazy. Yeah, we finna make these Cyber Sky Record Nikes, you know. Um, so, it's cold. And, um, shit, just designing um, new Cyber Sky Records merch. You feel me? Then, um, going on this tour, me and Chief Keith uh, playing Blood, Thicker Than Water tour. Cause I'm in him finna drop a joint album together, right. you know. When's that coming up? Um, like we picking a date right now, man. And I'm thinking like the um, end of June, you know. That's a good. That's a good time. I mean, yeah. shit, summer's just starting really, and you know, I know y'all are gonna have some bangers out, out there, you know, for the fans and shit. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a good time. Is this the first time? I mean, since y'all started, that y'all, you know, like collaborated on the actual project, like yeah, album songs, together. Yeah, even songs. Yeah, this is the first time, like, you know, we actually collaborated. You know, because he was in LA and I was in Chicago, and I was like, you know what? Let me just go out there. Then I came out there, you know, came out here and you know, got to mean back up with Chief, and we got to talking, you know. And now we're working on this project, um, Blood Thicker Than Water. You know, and I know motherfuckers is waiting for that. Yeah. Especially people that chief hard, cause you know, y'all be repping that whole life. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> for real, man. For real. Hey, how you feel about like how how the scene is going in Chicago right now with with the music, with the weed, like, you know, because l last time I was there, you know, the weed was actually like you know had stepped up. I mean, yeah. the music's always there. The scene's <laughs> always there. There's always some some new blood coming out of there. I mean, from Most definitely. you know, from Common and, and Juice and, and yeah. Kanye and and uh, you Mick Jenkins and and yeah. you know, there's a whole list of motherfuckers coming out yeah, of Shatown right now. Whole list. It's like popping. I mean, yeah. it always it know, always is popping. Yeah, that's always. why I like. That's why I respect um, Keith so much. You know, because he kind of like brought the light back to the city. You know. And I just was talking about that. This man put like 200 and some people on their feet, you know? Yeah. Like for real, for real. He gave like 200 and some people jobs, you know? 
you know, that's dope. Shit. Yeah. He gave me a job. He put me, you know, where I'm at, you know, I thank him, you know. But that's cool that y'all still are gonna, you know, work together too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, that's what that's why we named the Project Blood Thicker and Water. Cause like no matter the difference is, at the end of the day it ain't about the money, you know. Yeah. It's my fam, you know. Yeah. You know, it's my little cousin, you know. So it's family, you know, family over everything. Hell yeah. And now, uh, aside from you guys, is there anybody else on this album? Did you guys bring on anybody else to collaborate with, or is it just y'all focused on? No, we got a lot of big super, <clears throat> a lot of big names, a whole lot. You know, I want to just be dropping the names, but it's gonna be a lot of huge, huge names. You gonna hit them with some good ones, up? Yeah, some real huge names. It's gonna be surprising, you know. <coughs> and real surprise. Production. Oh yeah, we you got guys chop on there. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> A lot of in-house, uh, DP on the beat, you know, <coughs> 1200. <coughs> yeah. Her boy, um, Metro. <coughs> yeah. You got a lot of, you, you got to have some bangers on that thing right there, man. So in, in Chicago right now, what what's like, what's the what's the flavor right now that people like to smoke over there? What's your, your, your favorite strain in Chicago? Um, OG. OG. It like, made its way, huh? Strong goes, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. That's all out there, man. Like, like nothing else out there. It's OG, man. You ain't smoking OG, like all that Blue Dream, all that other stuff. Is man, that's out of the you question. You gotta have that OG. You huh? gotta have that OG. That's Everybody. real shit. I mean, that's how it was in California for a long time. The OG Kush, you have yeah, to have you that. Gotta, shit. Yeah, it gotta and, be strong and, OG Kush. And yes. you still do gotta have it. Yeah, I mean, you still <laughs> Most do. Definitely. That's real shit. You know, we, 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 you know, we're privileged to other strains out here because it's so yeah, open. So, yeah. But I think Chicago's rolling towards that way. Yeah, Cause most I, definitely. Because I see more strains popping up that are yeah, actually good strains. Yeah, a lot of there. good strains. And then, like, I go I go other places and I'll be like, damn, this ain't it. Yeah. Like, a lot of places, like, when I'll be. Yeah, there's places up, that gotta catch yeah, up. Yeah, when I got shows and shit, going on the road and shit. Where was the place that was the worst? We gotta call them out so they can <laughs> step their game up. You know? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we man. Call them out see, so we can man. step their game Who up. Was it? I'll tell you what, right? Texas used to have some of the shittiest man, I weed. I think it was Cleveland, man. Yeah. It was Cleveland, yeah. man. Somebody yeah, handed me some, some. They got some boo boo there. It was, a, it was one of my fans, man. He handed me some shit, man. And I was like, what the fuck? I went back. I put it in my back pocket. I go backstage. I open it up. Man, I ain't yeah. seen this shit in years. Yeah. I was like, what is this? <laughs> this is what they smoking, and it was uh, it was boo boo, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, occasionally you have that. I mean, Texas used to be like that. You used to see a lot of a lot of shitty weed over there. Now they've stepped up game. There's like some fly shit over there now, but there's still places that need to catch yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. But you know, definitely. I, I think in Ohio, there's probably some good weed out there. It's just you got to know the guy, yeah, or know the guy no, who right, knows yeah. the guy. Exactly. And most exactly. of the promoters that we got to deal with, yeah, they don't. They know They don't the know because they smoking. They didn't. They don't. They smoking boo boo. They smoking boo boo. Yeah, they smoking so that like, mid grade. Man, yeah. Maybe mid grade. You know, yeah. could be low grade. Who knows? But I, you <laughs> see, you see that. In, in Europe a lot You know oh, what I'm saying yeah. But It's stepping up In certain places And yeah. you'll see Green weed everywhere Yeah now. New it's York just... Stepping up too Oh family. yeah Hell you yeah me? Where's your yeah. favorite place You found weed I said, I love, Okay Take California Take Denver Off of Off of Off of the list Where's the Where's the next place That you it think got the a, best Atlanta one? Atlanta Atlanta They got some gas Stepping out there, up man. Huh? Like man Like crazy Like They smoking gas I ain't gonna lie it was some, it was some, it was some gas. Damn, Atlanta's stepping up. But you know, they used to have, gas. they used to have hemp rallies there a long time ago, man. You know, like, yeah. you know, pushing legalization. Oh, yeah. So there's so a they, lot of people, yeah. you know, that know what the you fuck's up doing, out there yeah. in the ATL. Shout out to the ATL, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, what, what do you got coming next for like the fans that, you know, the diehard fans that want to know. Um, I got this mixtape I've been working on called Ain't No Money Like Trap Money, you know? Yeah, because um, you're deep in the trap shit. And yeah, I love man. that shit. Yeah, man. That's Pe like my lane, you know, man. You feel me? You know, I was influenced <laughs> on, you know, like, Twills, you feel me? Like Lil Wayne, you know? Uh, like Gucci and shit, you feel me? Like real trap shit. Hell yeah. You feel me? And then shit, I don't know. And then, I, I mean, coming up, man, I had to get, I had to grind to get it, you know, to survive, to even eat, right. even to put food on my stomach, to pay the bills, pay my mom's bills. You feel me? So, right. 
You know, I mean, I just talk about you know what we've been through. You know, talking about know what, the experience. What, exactly, and, and what others are going through right now. You yeah. hear me? It's hundreds of thousands and thousands of people going through it right now. You know? Hell yeah. They need to feel it. They need to hear it. You know? Uh, I got something to bring to the table to tell them. You know? You got some unique shit jumping off for real. Yeah, most definitely. Mixtape ain't no money like trap money. Then um, I have me and um, Chief Keef, Blood Thick in the Water. Then me and my artist, Gino Marley, uh, from Chicago. What I'm saying? He where I grew up. Me and him, doing, we doing a mix. We did the mixtape in 2013. We doing a sequel to that called Street Shit 2. Yeah. And then after that, um, I'm like, for the film, this movie. Me and um, Keef supposed to be working on. But I'm, I'm, I'm producing it. I'm executive producing it. You know, but I'ma have Keith in it, you know. Yeah. And I'ma be in it too though. You know, but I ain't gonna be in it like that, but I'ma be in it a whole whole You'll whole, put a, whole, put, whole put lot. A part in it for yeah, yourself. A whole lot. Yeah, but I'm like, making as you should, executive though. producing like yeah. it's gonna be dope as fuck. Super dope. Like next Just level shit. Constantly expanding the brand and shit. That's good shit, man. You know, you gotta you gotta keep it moving, keep it pushing all the time. Word up! If, it, if if there was one thing that you could tell one of your fans, like the best the best thing, the best part of this game, and what's the worst part of this game, if 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 a fan were to ask you that, what would you tell them? Um, the Just, best part of this game is I don't gotta do nothing illegal. You feel me? I can try to you know do something legal. You feel me? I ain't gotta. Cause man, yeah. Without this rap, man, I, it was okay. ugly. I was, yeah, the options I was, are yeah, limited. Exactly, you know, especially where I come from. I come from the third most poverty block in America. You feel me? Not yeah. just like one, thing, like this is literally the third in the whole America. Not you know in the whole block. Yeah. So it's like, man, you know, like you gotta grind and get it. You feel me? It's, you know, and believe in yourself. You know. That's right. Cause I believed in myself, you know. Like I never, you know, signed no deal. I never had a manager. I still don't got a manager, you know. You do it like, all in house. I do all everything all in house, you know. I'm, bo- I'm a boss, you know. That's right. You feel me? Like, but you know, that's a good thing, you know. Like I get to be myself, you feel me? And I ain't gotta, I, you know. Yeah. Be in the streets all day, every day, like I used to be. And the bad thing is. People like, you know, they judge you, you feel me? Cause yeah. you're rapping and shit, you know? At the end of the day, I'm still the same person from, yeah. that, that, you know, it gets, without rapping. You it know? gets lost. Yeah. It gets you know, lost. Yeah. They, they get lost, you know? Yeah. Fans, family, Anybody. people, friends, you yeah, know, associates. They see, it from, they see it from the outside. Yeah, they lost. They all lost, you know? I'm still the same person, you know? Ain't nothing changed. Find your way back. <laughs> Hey man, I want to thank you for, oh, uh, you know, jumping in the smoke box. Hell yeah, yeah, man. This some gas, man. No oh, lie, yeah. man. Go get this, Dr. man. Dr. Green, Dub Tangerine. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck with my man. You know Squad, what I mean? Squad, man. Follow me on Twitter, man. Fredo Santana 300. <coughs> Follow me on Instagram, Fredo Santana. S S R. You dig? That's right. <laughs> Just follow me, dude, because I'm coming. You know, Savage Squad Records, man. You know how we rock. That shit's some gas. You see how I'm coming? <laughs> it's gassed up. And hey, go get that prescription <laughs> album. It's for free. That Biff, go get it. <laughs>